Hi, my name's Mr Deneve and I'm head teacher of Cromer Junior School. Because I can't do the usual induction days and the parents' evening, I've put together a virtual tour of the school and I've tried to answer some of the questions that you've asked me by email. That was your old classrooms. And I'm Mr Deneve. That's our school gate. Well, at least one of them. Uh, coming up onto our playground. Generally speaking, at the start of a new year, you'd be lining up on the playground with your new teachers, with your parents by the side. We're not exactly sure how that's going to work in September, but rest assured we'll let you know just as soon as we have the safest plans in place. It's also the place we line up for fire drills, so you'll know what to expect when you get there. There's our trim trail. Many of you will have already been playing on them after school when you've picked up brothers and sisters. We've got a bike shelter there. You can come in by scooter and bike if you like. We'd always recommend that you wear a helmet. Coming across the playground over to our play area. Well, we've got two firemen's poles. We only let children on when there's an adult there. This is our car park. I'm afraid as parents you can't park here because we don't have enough space when it's full of staff. Here's our minibus. You'll all have a chance to go to beach schools in the minibus and possibly some other trips too. This is our quiet area where you'll eat your lunch from time to time when it's warm enough. You can see the high school across the field. And this is the door from the quiet area where you'll come into school. Each morning you'll come through these doors and then you'll turn left. There you go, up the stairs. And that was painted during one of our live arts project. Up the stairs and then another left turn. That's Mrs Minister's and Mrs Babbage's class there. And you'll all have your own lockers. You can keep your bags and coats and things in there. There's the library, and there's the boys' toilets, really, really close to the classroom. The girls' toilets are just immediately below them. And then we go down the corridor, past some more lockers. And this is Mrs Minister's and Mrs Babbage's classroom. We'll have some new furniture in there in September. You can see you have everything you need for school here. All looks a little bit different now, down to social distancing. But we'll be back to full classes in September. There should be enough laptops for one per person. There we are. There's a couple in there. The cabinets will be full in September. And then we'll come out of 3MB. And in we go into 3G. And then you'll be wearing your uniform in September. This is all a little bit different. Lots of displays to help you with your your spelling. Everybody working hard. And this is the library. We had it painted a few years ago. Next year there'll be a librarian in there. Mrs Tapper will start in September. That's where you'll bring your books to be restocked on the shelves. I'll take you around some characters you might recognise. We use a system called Accelerated Reader in school, so you do a test on the computer and that tells us which book bands you can read from. And then at the end of every book you can complete a short quiz. 
That lets your teachers know whether or not you understood what you were reading. It's a system we've had in school for quite a long time now and it works really well. You recognise any of these characters? There's Horrid Henry look. And Frog and Rat. We like to think of the library as the real centre of the school, the heart of the school if you like. So now we've gone down the corridor into the ICT suite. You'll know that already because you've been coming for a while. You haven't used the 3D printers of course, they're our cutting edge technology for making plastic models. <laughs> There's Dot and Dash, well, just Dash. He's a programmable robot. This is our school council board. The school council are really active. They raise a lot of money for charity and they help out with ideas for how we can run our school. And children organise a lot of clubs and things, and they're added to the after school clubs that the adults run. You can pop your suggestions in the box. And children get stickers for best effort and good work and they get converted into a certificate and assembly. When you've got enough then you can have one of those items of stationery. And there's a pen license, the most cherished award in school. It's for good handwriting. There's our lovely gallery. It gets changed about every half term or so. When Miss Church is there then you'll have art workshops and then maybe you'll see your paintings in the gallery. This is the kitchen. It looks a little bit odd because there's no children here. But this is where you'll get your lunch. At the moment it's full of tables and chairs and they'll all be out during your lunch time. You'll line up and you'll collect your meal from the hatch. And Christine will be behind the hatch with Tula serving you. We're having some new artwork put on the walls in the hall. We're having a timeline which pretty much covers our whole curriculum. This is just a sneak preview. It'll be finished by the time you get here in September. We had the same artists that painted the library. There's one there. They're called Sonny and P. There's Chroma Church, ready to be painted. That's the chatterbox. Sometimes people fall out and don't quite know what to do about it. So that's a way to just have a direct line to me. Let me sort the problem out. That's a chocolate challenge. There are ten of those around school. If you do a really good job of several of them, you'll win a bar of chocolate. There you are, there's another one. You can freeze the screen and try and work it out if you like. And there's our CJS Proudly Presents boards. We have three big performances a year, and we like to celebrate it long beyond the actual performance. There's a mixture of Year 5 and Year 4 ones there. This is the medical room. Hopefully you'll never have to go inside, but the reality is you probably will because people are always having knocks and bumps on the playground. It'll usually be Bex in there, and she'll look after you. And we'll ring parents whenever some first aid is given. That gives you the choice as to how to proceed. There we are again on a medical theme. It's a form that we ask you to fill in if you need us to administer some medicine. They're in the office. And another form. This one's an application for pupil leave of absence. That's a holiday form. I can only authorise holidays under exceptional circumstances, so please don't be offended if I can't. And this is Amy's room. Sometimes children need somebody to talk to that isn't their mum or dad or a teacher. Amy performs that role. She's really good at art. It's a good idea to bring your own pencils and pens to school if you like. We'll always provide them but lots of children prefer to have their own. 
This is our kitchen where lots of cooking happens. A children's kitchen that is. And it's also where you can fill your water bottle up. Lovely chilled water. Yes. You'll have some homework and maths with you're already familiar with. There'll be tables and spellings as well. This is the front entrance, the other gate from Norwich Road. If the gate's closed, then you just have to ring the buzzer and speak to the secretary. Or oh, if you noticed on your left, there's a green button. That's just for adults to use. That's the way to get out again. Everybody always misses it. We're going in through the front entrance of the school. You'll see a notice board on the left. Here's the staff board. Try and spot people for you. And we're zooming in. That's me. Yeah, Miss Walker is acting deputy into September. There's Mrs. Minister and Miss Scoman. See where we go next. Ah, there's Miss Hawkins. She's a teaching assistant with Miss Scoman. And Miss Price is a teaching assistant with Miss Minister and Miss Babbage. Miss Tucker as well, she's also in the same class. And there's Mrs. Babbage. And there's Bex. She'll be in the first aid room. She's there for breakfast club too. This is in the foyer. This is your first port of call. There's Mrs. Dancaster. Christine, she'll answer your calls, answer your emails, and take any inquiries you have. At Cromer Junior School, we value our children's uniform. We like children to feel proud to wear their sweatshirts, to feel part of something bigger. We're a community. Whilst we hold some limited items in stock, the usual way to order uniform is through the Price Buckland website. We don't make any profit on the high quality clothing. Of course you're welcome to buy uniform somewhere else, but we'd appreciate every effort to provide something similar. Please try to keep footwear black and safe to run around in. If your children come home and say they're allowed to wear whatever they like, that just isn't true. PE kit is a white t-shirt, black shorts and plimsolls. A t-shirt with the school logo is available on the uniform site. For outdoor games, something warm like a tracksuit with some trainers is needed. Art shirts or aprons are always a good idea to save clothing getting spoilt. Children need to bring their own water bottle into school where it can be refilled from a water cooler. We discourage sugary drinks. We provide stationery in class, but lots of children like to have their own pencil cases and equipment. Our kitchen sells snacks for 10p, up to a maximum of three items at break time. This is a cash-only system, and so a named purse is needed. I cannot say often enough, please name all items of clothing. We have around 260 children, all with the same uniform. It's really hard to find clothing that isn't correctly named. Lots of the things that you've asked have already been answered in the tour, or they're answered in the parent handbook that I supplied with your book bag. First I'll do the questions from the parents. With regard to social distancing, we're busy following the government guidelines that have just been issued. We're working through a really detailed risk assessment to make sure that we keep everybody as safe as possible. When that's complete, I'll send it out as soon as I can. If you're entitled to free school meals, your child will get free school meals at school. I'm not entirely sure yet whether that'll be hot meals at the moment or whether it will be the packed lunches that we've been providing through the lockdown. 
Parking around the junior school is never easy. A car park's pretty full with staff vehicles, so it's advised that you park in one of the laybys or perhaps a little bit further down the road and then walk your child in. Breakfast Club is a free provision and can be accessed by everyone. All you need to do is let the school office know that you'd like to drop your child off early and we'll arrange it from there. You'll be asked to do some maths with homework and perhaps learn some spellings and maybe your times tables too. It won't be too hard. We're expecting you to work pretty hard at school so we won't be asking you to do too much at home. There's a homework club if you'd rather do it at school. You've had your children at home for quite a long time now, so you have a pretty good idea of what they still need to improve on. You've been accessing Maths Whiz, just as you will do it at the junior school. And so if you carry on with that during the summer, that'll keep things going all the way through to September. Of course, the real gateway to the curriculum is reading. So anything extra you can do with reading is going to be good. I've got some questions from the children as well. We're not exactly sure what's going to happen with buddies at the moment because playtimes might be different for different year group bubbles. Usually everybody's out on the playground together so it would be easy for you to play with your brother or sister at school. That might be a little bit more difficult during the current situation. We might have people outside at different times in their own bubbles so we're going to have to wait and see. There's no specific music teacher although we do have uh, a violin teacher, a piano teacher and a guitar teacher if your parents ask for you to do those things. And Mrs Thompson does a fantastic job with singing assembly but we're not quite sure exactly how that will work out either. the work will be matched pretty much perfectly to your needs. We've already talked to your old teachers to find out whereabouts you were before you left school. Yes, you can get a snack at playtime. We have biscuits and mini pizzas, fruit, that kind of thing. We limit it to three pieces and they're 10p each. You don't have to have all three, but it's a maximum of 30p. After school, usually, we have a cookery club on a Monday. We have a games club that sometimes Year 3 can do, depending on how many people we have that want to take part. We have an arts and crafts club. We also have a homework club on a Thursday. You'll have a teaching assistant in your class all the way through the year.